Hi everyone, this is Corin from Speedycom and in this new video we are going to see how you can create upsells in your cart page. In the description of the video you will find the link to the written tutorial where you will have access to the code that we will be using today. Before we begin you should absolutely subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming free tutorials. Alright, so with the first step we are going to implement the code of the system itself. So you will have to copy the code that you see here in the creating the snippet section. There you go. Then you will go to your store in the themes page. Here you will have to click on actions and then edit code. But before you do that you should actually click on duplicate so that you will make a copy of your theme files just in case you make any big mistakes and you want to go back. So once you've done a copy of your theme then just click on edit code. There you go. Find the snippets folder and click on add a new snippet. Uh, then we will have to name it, I think it's uh, DG Card Upsells. There you go. Make sure you name it properly or it won't work. Create. Then we passed the code that we just copied and we click on save. So now that we have added the system itself into the theme files, we have to display it somewhere. So we are going to go back to the tutorial, find this code, copy it and we are going to decide where we want to put it. So uh, this tutorial is about cart page. Of course you can place it somewhere else if you want, but we are going to find the cart that liquid file and place the code at the very end. Click save and there you go. So this is fairly straightforward and easy to understand. What this code allows us to do is include the file under the name of digicart upsells, the file that we just created. So once you've done this, you will go to your products, then collections, and you will create a collection that you will be using for the upsell system. So manual, name the collection upsells. This is important. Click on save. And then you will have to add the products that you will want to show in the cart page. So let's see here what we have. We have three products. I will select all three, add, there you go. And now let's see what it's going to look like. Go to your store, find the product page, let's see product one, add it to the cart, view cart, and there you go. We have the upsell system just underneath. We can add any of the products and it's going to update it automatically. There you go, we can see the product one and the product 2 that I just added. Please know that this tutorial will only work if you have a cart page, which means that if your theme only shows a drawer cart or a mini cart, then this will not be useful for you. Another important detail to understand about this system is that it will only display the same collection of products no matter what you have added to your cart, which means that you cannot showcase different kind of upsells for different type of cart products. Of course that's something you can actually do in Shopify, but the fact is that this is a free tutorial and it will require a lot more coding. Alright, so before we end the tutorial, I will also explain to you how you can actually customize some of the details of the system. So let's go back to the code editor, open the snippet file, and here at the very top you have these four lines of code. For example, uh, the first line is about the collection title. So here we have set it to upsells, that's why here we have chosen upsells as a title so make sure that the title you add here is the same as you have here then you have the number of products uh, as limit for example i suggest that you don't change it make sure you don't add more than four products i think it's useless then you have the title that's shown in the cart page itself uh, this is the default title that you can customize as you wish and you have also the title of the button itself and lastly, if you want, you can customize the color of the Add to Cart button itself. So uh, actually the color here is the default color of the theme, but if you want to change it to a different color, all you have to do is 
come back to uh, the line number 10 here we have an empty uh, spot so here you will write background then you will decide what kind of color you want uh, you have to um, put it in the hex color code so let's say I want to put it to gray this is the code for gray then I save it refresh the page and here you can see the color uh, is gray of course you have to be careful about the color of the text of the button itself but uh, this is just a little tip so that you can maybe change the background if you want to I think I'm going to go back to how it was before and uh, this is pretty much it I really hope you liked this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video it will really help us grow and you won't miss out on any of the coming free and great tutorials